Good day and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday we began our second full year of daily video and blog posts here at the Vitality Project. And I'm beyond delighted that you've come along for the ride as we move forward into our next phase, what we're calling daily thoughts to free yourself and others. Many of you already know me, particularly if you've been with me this past year here at the Vitality Project, whether it's in our weekly uh, private online groups, by the way, those are all free, <clears throat> or our daily Facebook Live events, YouTube video posts, or tweeted blogs. I have done my best for the past year to uh, both inspire you, as well as to be transparent, uh, including about my own uh, uh, history of addiction and uh, my current recovery. <clears throat> Most of you know me simply as Dr. Bob. For just a little bit more background today, I received my doctorate, Dr. Bob, I received my doctorate in clinical psychology back in 1985. I became a licensed clinical psychologist uh, the next, early the very next year, as well as began to teach other psychologists uh, to be at a local Los Angeles area graduate school. I taught there for 15 years and I loved my work both as a psychologist seeing clients as well as a professor teaching students who wanted to become psychologists. And yet I managed to lose both my license to practice psychology as well as my professorship in clinical psychology, owing to what I look at now as really truly the tragic and uh, the uh, ill effects, uh, for sure, of addiction. You know, the 12-step programs, if you're familiar with them at all, they talk about wreckage of the past. Well, I say, uh, say no more. I lost everything professionally. And I took this uh, tremendous loss extremely personally. Uh, uh, there were significant others in my life who blamed me. Uh, in essence, for being such a loser, but I'll tell you what was much more, what was much more painful for me, was how I internalized those messages, both from them as well as things that were already in place for myself, and uh, viewed myself the same way, basically as a loser. Shame nearly killed me, but there was, thankfully, and is, thankfully, a way out. I think it'd be better to call it a way through, to be honest with you. Uh, and I intend to explore over the next few weeks here at the Vitality Project this way through. And what is it a way through? It's a way through shame. It's a way through personally blaming ourselves. It's a way through feeling like nothing but a loser for missteps, missteps in our lives, mistakes in our lives. And our goal? Our goal here is to provide daily thoughts that might also free you uh, and possibly others whom you love most. So for today, I want to ask you, I want to invite you to identi identify a time in your own life where you might have gotten stuck in, in the mire I just described, the mire of unrelenting critical judgment and rejection of whom you are. Could it come from the outside, which is what psychology calls stigma? Could it come from the inside, which is what we call shame? Uh, in either case, I wonder if you can relate in any way to the story I've just shared with you. Come back and join us tomorrow in these next days as we really begin to deeply explore and unpack this whole issue of the enslavement that comes from self-judgment and loss of self-respect and pointing in the direction of how we can be free and liberated again to truly become our very best selves. Thanks for joining me today here at the Vitality Project. Please stay safe and be well, and I'll see you again soon.